Hello, SG here from the Rehab Hub, and I'm here to introduce to you electro, uh, or sorry, magnetotherapy, um, now available at the Rehab Hub in Glasgow. If you have any questions, we are live. Please feel free to uh, comment, um, or if you watch this in replay, pop us a message. I want to just go through what magnetotherapy is. So essentially, it's physical therapy based on the application of the, a magnetic field with specific features to the human body. And years and years and years ago, it was discovered that magnetic field could be obtained by making an electric current through um, a wire, uh, basically wrapping a wire around a um, solenoid, the magnetic fields of each column summed together, which gives a strong magnetic field that is measured in GUS. So essentially, it is all physics, um, but essentially what we have is this magnetic um, field. And the current is, a, if the current is constant, then the static magnetic field is created. And if the current varies with pulses, then a pulse magnetic field is produced. And basically what we are doing with this, so you might have seen, um, you know, relatives or whatever that have maybe got little magnetic bangles and things on. And they're wearing what's called a static magnetic um, the kind of static magnetic field is very kind of low energy, but essentially that is what uh, they've got on. This, what we are doing here, is we have got a um, it's a pulse magnetic therapy that we're that we're using. So different substances behave differently when put in a magnetic field, right? And according to their behavior, they can be classified as um, diagmagnetic or um, paramagnetic or ferromagnetic. And essentially, um, they can either be attracted or, or not. So you've, 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 as a kid, you'll have played with magnets and some will attract and some will, um, will let's just say, pull apart. So depending on what, um, the, the, how, they, how they are, but it both depends on what they do. Now, basically, um, biological molecules um, but are, are biological sub, uh, structures, cells, tissues, organs, bones, um, do not uh, alter the magnetic field which passes through the body without losing intensity. And that basically means that the field acts on all the structures, including the, the deepest structures, so including bone. So when we're using this particular machine, uh, we will be... Um, uh, going to uh, to bone and actually some of the the best indications of this uh, are for bone um, problems. So, what types of things that this um, can can help with are pain relief, anti-inflammatory, reduce reduction of swelling, um, acceleration of wound healing, um, osteogenesis, and bone mass restoration. So things like osteoporosis. These are absolutely where it comes into its own. Um, additionally, because of the action across the, the cell membrane, so basically your, your um, calcium, there's a calcium influx, right? We have this thing in our body, we have our sodium and um, potassium pump. Um, and essentially what we have is we have this influx of calcium. And when we get the influx of calcium, what happens is, is we get muscle relaxation, we get vasodilation, we get protein synthesis, we, got, we get mitochondrial activation. And a combination of all these physiological responses lead to an anti-inflammatory, anti-edema and, and an, an analgesic response um, and also improve wound healing. That's just... Um, what happens. So I'm going to put the machine on to show you it moving. So when a patient comes in, so you've probably seen me coming into um, a camera here. When a patient comes in, they will lie. So some of you will be down, you'll be watching uh, whatever camera you're looking on. Uh, the feet will be down this end and the head will be up here. We will have this for just uh, their legs to be elevated and their head will be in this position here. I'm just making sure you can see me. If you have any questions as I go through this demonstration, just let me know. So I'm going to turn the machine on. You'll hear a few beeps. Um, so bear with me as I'm turning this on. And I'm going to give you a little demonstration of the magnetic field. And when you're lying on this, you're not going to feel any pain. Uh, you're not really going to feel much. Usually what we'll do is we'll give you a magnet to hold or just uh, certainly for that demonstration and let you kind of feel what that there actually is something going on. So actually when you're on this, you won't feel anything at all. Right, so I'm just, let's do, put this on. We'll do tissue repair. 
Why not? And we'll do full body. So we can do from the feet all the way right up to the head if we choose to when we're doing this. Here, 50 hertz is going into this. A bit of energy there. And let's go. We'll do full body with this one. I'm going to press start. So you hear more uh, beeping. Session two. I'll just put this right up. Normally, a treatment is anywhere between 20 minutes and 30 minutes when you're coming in and doing this. So you can see this machine, uh, the, the thing will start to move. Oh, hold on. I've, well, let's start again, SG. <laughs> so half more, you're on live. So I put it to stay at the feet for, for 10 minutes. That's not going to work, is it? So we can choose through the settings on this as well that if we want to, for example, have it stay in a particular area, we can do that. Um, but for this demonstration, we will have it moving and we don't want it staying in any one particular place. Okay, so that's it starting now. So you can see this will start to move. And when you're underneath here, um, you'll not necessarily feel anything. Um, some people may. So here is now I've got just a magnet. And you can see it's just sitting here. So I'm going to put it in my hand. And I can feel this vibrating just now because this is coming close to me. And as this is going away, um, it's, it's not doing anything. So what I'm going to demonstrate is what happens to this magnet as I put this underneath here. Now, you could, I personally have got my hip replaced. And you can absolutely use this safely um, with joint replacements. And actually, it is indicated for that um, sort of um issue. Now look at this magnet lifting up. Do you see it? So here is where and as that goes away it's reducing that, that kind of vibration field that I can feel in my hand but as this comes over I feel that increasing so I'll just take this over maybe you'll see a bit later from here. So if I place this here so right now Nothing happening. I can feel it vibrating now. And then watch what happens as this comes over. You can see <laughs> it's going a bit nuts. Okay. And I can feel that vibrating. We'll usually demonstrate that when you're coming in. So when you're lying down there, you generally not feel anything. It really, it's, it's a very gentle, uh, nice treatment to have. You're here. It's a very comfortable bed. It's nice and soft you're not going to be in any discomfort. So I'll leave that on and you can just watch the machine at work. So you rest assured that um, you're not going to, it's not going to hurt you, it's not going to be sore. Um, types of conditions that this is good for. So let me just go through the indications of use. There are many, many, many of them, but the most of them are our osteoarticular diseases. So things like fractures. So if you've got, fracture that um any to be honest any kind of fractures healing fractures fractures non um joining non non healing fractures um this is honestly this is where it really comes into its own day also articular diseases is really where this uh is is an excellent um treatment modality femoral head avascular necrosis so uh, up at the top of your 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 hip um post menopausal osteoporosis so osteoporosis for helping regenerate and build bone density this is really um, an effective treatment um degenerative uh, arthropathy so any kind of arthritis in the knee basically arthritis osteoarthritis knees hips hands wherever i've got osteoarthritis in my hip uh so i mean honestly i have my left hip replaced i am using this currently um i absolutely can't rave enough about it one of the big things especially if you've got joint replacements is the failure of those joints and they don't last forever they, and they it's not that the, the actual joints don't are the the new joint doesn't last it's your tissue around that new joint that starts to loosen off because the bone and your tissue basically doesn't regenerate around that area and and you're your new joint basically then becomes uh, loose and that's what your corrective surgery uh, is 
when you've got it, when you've had a joint replacement. So what I'm working on for myself here is really prolonging and looking after the tissues around my new hip to really get the, the a, a, a better result, a longer result. Hopefully, um, I will live long enough that I probably will need a corrective surgery on my hip well into my hopefully 60s and 70s. Um, I hope it's um, that they're that far away. And this will be, certainly if you have a joint replacement, had surgery, um, bone, osteoporosis, these types of things, I, I can't stress enough the, uh, the use that this can have for you. It's also great for things like um, inflammatory arthropathies. So you're more systemic. So, so you're thinking rheumatoid arthritis, um, ankylosing spondylitis, um, fibromyalgia. Uh, the results from fibromyalgia with this and some of the clinical trials have been in insane. Those types of conditions, really, really great. Soft tissue and peripheral peripheral disease so any kind of soft tissue disease so tendonitis tendinopathy bursitis ligament problems ligament strains ligament damage all of these types of conditions sports injuries or degenerative uh, degenerative processes then this is absolutely where this comes into its own and acute or chronic articular um, conditions such as uh, back pain, neck pain, tendonitis, painful shoulder. So there's musculoskeletal, osteoarticular diseases. This is really where the uh, the 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 the, uh, the therapy machine really comes into its own. So it's magnetotherapy. This is not readily available very much. I think there are a handful of clinics that have this in the United Kingdom. This is not something that is easily available for many of you to get in the lobby. Look at this. So this looks like a big MRI machine. And um, is this okay? Yes, it is. There are very few contraindications to this. The biggest, the, the only absolute contraindication to this is a pacemaker. If you have a pacemaker, we cannot put you in this for obvious reasons. Um, other than that, uh, things like pregnancy, we wouldn't use it. We wouldn't use it if you had any other electrical devices possibly fitted in you. Maybe you've got Parkinson's, you've maybe got some devices to regulate brain activity. These kind of things, we wouldn't, this would not be indicated. But other than that, you are fine to use this. There are, there are very few contraindications to this. And it's very gentle and absolutely divine for remodeling like really the 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 osteoarticular diseases right uh, th those that's really where this comes into its own now it does have other uses for neurovascular or neuromuscular diseases so things like muscle sprains muscle fatigues from overuse neuropathies peripheral nerve lesions and carpal tunnel syndrome tissue repair so pressure ulcers cutaneous wounds and psoriasis so if you've got skin problems um pressure ulcers issues with ulcers also indicated and vascular diseases so any kind of vascular ulcers and um, diabetic um, ulcers um, and any post-traumatic edema so any uh, sort of swelling things there those are the, the types of indications so just to go over them again osteoarticular diseases is where it really comes into its own so things like fractures cannot stress enough that osteo just means bone so essentially anything in terms of your bones. So if you're a woman of a certain age, or of a certain age, I hate that phrase and then I've just said it. So if you're a woman who is perimenopausal, uh, menopausal or postmenopause, then you will know the uh, how your bones and your joints are feeling, right? You feel that. So I, I, I'm, I'm there with you. So this is something that hasn't been available that, that now is. You might have seen... Um, it's quite an old-fashioned thing to see where people have made a more wee, like almost like looked like funky jewellery, um, might be magnetic things around their wrists, and maybe uh, an older relative, maybe you've seen doing that. I remember, I think one of my aunties had one. Um, usually, people that have maybe get things like rheumatology, you'll see wearing that, and uh, essentially, it's the same. Science of this has been around a long time. That's a tiny little fraction of what, what's going through when you're on this machine. And also, it's a, what they're putting on when they're wearing jewellery and things is a static um, magnetic uh, that, that's going through. This is a pulsed magnetic, totally um, different. Um, the therapeutic effects are immense. Let's talk a little bit about 
uh, what a treatment looks like um, and some of the advantages of treatment. So uh, one of the case studies that we discussed yesterday when we were um, training on this course, because this is literally just landed yesterday, was we looked at a gentleman who had been suffering with fibromyalgia. And this particular gentleman uh, wasn't suffering with pain <clears throat> from the fibromyalgia, but actually the biggest uh, Symptom for them was depression, and this particular gentleman had been had a early child or early adult exposure to asbestos, and had resulted in damage to their lungs. And actually, one of their lungs was kind of folded open the other. And unfortunately, the medication they were taking for the depression really was causing problems with the the issue with the lungs. So we had this kind of catch twenty two situation going on. Um, this particular patient, um, after their course of treatment, was able to come off the antidepressants and subsequently then improve their respiratory response as a result of that. So these are the types of things that um, that, that were seen in that particular patient that was being treated for fibromyalgia. Everybody's symptoms are slightly different with those kind of things. Now, other advantages are some people will report life-changing treatment, reduction in pain and medication use, deep tissue penetration. There's basically no side effects. It's non-invasive and it's pain-free. Um, it is also really, um, you know, if you've got a, a wound, it's because we've got this type of um, magnetotherapy machine, it's obviously not going to be touching you, so we can keep you, you know, we're not putting anything on you. It's going to be touching the wound, so it's, it's got all the advantages there for that. Um, another case study that we discussed was a 79-year-old female who was going to physio twice a week. Um, but it wasn't, she was going for athletic pain. And she was finding that these fortnightly sessions just weren't helping her pain anymore. And then with, with her magnetotherapy, she found that pain had massively reduced. So she'd went from a VAS scale of eight to nine to a VAS scale most days of one to two. Right? So meaning that her pain had, got, her, her pain had gone to, it was excruciatingly sore on a daily basis mostly. She might, she might get a couple of good days to down to just a few wee grumbles like you know that one and two hardly hardly even aware of it or noticing it's not fully aware but um she, so it's not affecting her life activities um and she also felt as a result of this energy levels sleep improving pain levels decreased no longer requiring to go to physiotherapy um in this particular case study when asked do you have any further sciatic so she was also getting sciatic pain because of the degeneration around her spine and associated um structures around the spine were being affected and that resulted also in a sciatic type pain as well and she replied basically that her reply her sciatic had completely gone and she was able to move around completely normally insane really isn't it when you think of that now um what happens with this when somebody's getting a course of treatment um, and apologies, I'm not on the camera here, I'm uh, down the end of this bed, you'll probably see me through here, is that you would come in, so depending in, on your pathology, you would come in, what you would be doing is you would book an initial consultation. So if you're interested in doing this, what you book in for is basically a, a normal either physical therapy or podiatry first appointment. It doesn't really matter which one you book in for. Um, if your uh, pathology, your issue is lower limb anywhere from the pelvis down, book a podiatry appointment if it is in the upper body, book a physical therapy if it's a combination of areas, which many of our patients are, then honestly doesn't really matter. Just book any, it, book your initial first appointment and from there we can just leave as a wee note and we can make sure the right clinician sees you, whether it's a physio or whether it's an MSK podiatrist, um, it doesn't, um, it, just let us know what it is you're needing help with. And you might need a combination of both and we have that there because we have physio here and we also have podiatrist here, so um, it doesn't really matter uh, what, what your injury is. And what we tend to do here is not just treat one thing. And this is what... Um, a lot of patients will report back to us they've maybe been seen whatever they've been seen and um they've maybe got lower back problems they've maybe got foot problems they've maybe got some knee problems there as well but they've only had this one episode and nobody's really joining up all the dots of all these areas and this is really what we do fantastically well at the rehab hub in glasgow so this is now available what happens so i'll give you an example if for example you had let's just say you've got knee osteoarthritis, then this would be part of what we would call a management plan. 
if you felt that you wanted to do um, mag magnetotherapy, then this would be put into your management plan. You would initially have 10 sessions fairly close together. To be honest, the closer together you can have these sessions, the better. Uh, we would normally say um, you need to have a minimum of those 10 of those sessions twice a week, but you could be coming to see us in daily for consecutive 10 days. But the minimum you would need to free up your diary for is twice per week. And you would do that for 10 sessions. After your 10 sessions, you would then, we would obviously assess where you're at. And if you were maybe needing um, a monthly checkup, say for some people like to just do a maintenance plan with us so they can maybe come on and use it once per month, or it might be six months before they need to see us again. It just depends on the condition. So let's give you um, an example, osteoporosis. So osteoporosis, we're trying to increase that bone density. We would see you initially for 10 sessions. That would be your big block. We would then not need to see you again for six months and you would do the same. You would do 10 sessions and you would just continue to do that. So you would need to see us once per year um, or sorry, twice per year, so every six months, um, you would come in and do 10 sessions. That would be for osteoporosis. If it was something like me arthritis, though, it wouldn't be as intense as that. You would do your 10 sessions, and then from there, you might only see us every other month for one session, just as a top-up to keep control. But again, it depends. That, that depends on your symptoms, your arthritis, uh, and, and, and what, what else is going on. So it just depends. We will be using this alongside, in addition to our, our already in place management plans. So things, for example, for that we use for uh, arthritis of the knee or arthritis of the big toe. Uh, we will use primarily either uh, PRP, so platelet-rich plasma injections, um, rehab and therapy, manual therapy, certainly rehab will always be in your programme. We might have some manual therapy in your programme and we might also have some um, injection therapy in your programme. Injection therapy can look like, um, it could be PRP, it could be austenel injections, which is hyaluronic acid, or it could be um, a steroid if that was indicated and needed for your particular case. So there's many, everybody's different. Um, and that might be, uh, you might be getting some injections in there. So for example, I had a lady in this morning where we did an injection into her big toe. She's got osteoarthritis in there. We're doing PRP. She's seeing us for that. And we had her on the uh, magnetotherapy machine after her session after um, that. So it, everybody's different in terms of what their management plan looks like. But if we are utilizing the magnetotherapy, you, everybody would have to have 10 sessions with a minimum of two per week uh, to, to get the desired clinical result. How you feel afterwards? Technically, the research shows that you shouldn't really feel anything for the first two weeks in terms of like any effects. There's no side effects from uh, being on this. But uh, the feedback over the last uh, day has with us has been, um, and I've been on this twice myself now as well, I can feel a wee bit buzzing, like I'd been... Like, like almost like energized up like revved up uh that's how I would like energy like I've, I've, I've been charged <laughs> if, if that makes sense that is how I felt uh but I don't know whether that's all in my head however one of the other patients that was in this just just a moment ago um left just saying I feel a bit as though I'm buzzing as she is as though you've uh, it's similar to what I was feeling and that kind of like charged up so um, certainly maybe that immediate effect of feeling energised. Uh, so that is, this is magnetotherapy. It is not available very easily in the United Kingdom. I believe from my knowledge and from uh, people that I have asked, I only know of three clinics in the UK that offer this sort of therapy. So we really are giving you something that is... is um, I suppose cutting edge, we're really, really paving the way um, yet again here at the Rehab Hub. And it's uh, something that's massively used, actually the manufacturers of this are from Italy, and it's massively used um, in places like Italy and Spain. Um, so you can have a wee look on there, there are lots of the videos and things will be in, in Italian or Spanish. Um, and this is from a company uh, called ASC. So ASC, I'm sure it's ASC and Laser, or ASC... Um, they're based in Italy, anyway. So essentially, this is where it's from. It's this sort of therapy you will see very frequently abroad, but you just don't see here in the UK. So it's been something that we've been looking at to offer to patients 
that, especially for myself, I have obviously also osteoarthritis. It is so debilitating. I do the rehab. I do everything I'm meant to do. But sometimes, and just that change in the weather, the, oh, anything can just set it off. Obviously, I've had a hip replacement. I am trying to have a healthy, active, healthy life. Um, and if I can use this to help me along the way, then I'm going to do it. So, And I want to ha have this these options for our patients as well. Those patients that are coming in that have got lots of pain all over their body, like our patients with fibromyalgia, where there's really not a lot there that the medical professionals we can do for you this is something we can start to do so please reach out if you're interested in finding out a wee bit more how you would get started with booking you basically just book a normal clinical appointment if this was something you wanted to do uh, this is something that can be included in your plan and it's not as expensive as maybe you're sitting there thinking and we do have because we have um, just brought this in we do have some promotions on for the next week so just ask us about that if you're phoning up or contacting us there are little incentives there so it's not as bad as what you would anywhere near as bad as what you're maybe thinking um so i'm going to sign out there uh if you do have any questions i don't see any questions that have come in please uh, don't hesitate to ask but i hope that's been informative i hope that's uh, helped you see the uh, magnetotherapy in action and we'll maybe see some of you on the machine soon and I should say before I head off we have called this machine Bob this is Bob so Bob will see you later